in this video we are going to compare blackrock's iShares ivv versus vanguard vgs i'd like to say thank you to motivation in session for the video idea so on the left here we have blackrock's ivv with an inception date of november 2008 it has been around longer than vanguard vgs and on the right we have vgs with inception date of november 2014 so it's been around for seven years and for the past seven years it has doubled its unit price value which means about 10 percent unit price growth whereas blackrock's ivv has more than quadrupled its unit price value so let's compare the index that they follow blackrock's ivv follows s p 500 index with about 500 companies whereas vanguard vgs tracks morgan stanley world index excluding australian shares and it is very diversified it has about 1400 companies within the etf the management fee blackrock's ivv is lower by about 0.04 percent per year whereas vanguard vgs charges about 0.18 percent per year so about four times what blackrock's charges both of them offer quarterly distributions so they will pay distributions four times a year and the fund size is about the same about 4.7 billion for vanguard vgs and 5 billion for blackrock's ivv and if we compare the five year average annual return for both of them is quite similar blackrock's ivv has 18.2 percent per year annual return whereas vanguard vgs has about 15 percent but that three percent is quite big because it's compounding for the past five years so just an illustration if you invest in blackrock's ivv but you'll get about twenty three thousand in five years whereas vanguard vgs your ten thousand dollars will turn into twenty thousand dollars so is three thousand dollars a big difference it's really up to you the main difference lies on the underlying holdings between these two etf we know blackrock's ivv invests in 500 top companies largest companies by market capitalization whereas vanguard vgs invests about 70 percent in the u.s region 19 percent in europe and seven percent in asia and if you compare the sectoral weightings they're quite similar too with blackrock's ivv invest more in it about 28 percent whereas vanguard vgs about 23 percent for the rest of the sectors such as healthcare consumer discretionary financial and communication they're about two three percent quite similar so which one is better is really up to you which one you are comfortable with are you comfortable with the 500 top companies or you want more diversification with vanguard vgs with 20 percent european stocks and about seven percent asian stocks but if you look at the top holdings for vanguard and blackrocks they're quite similar and i can say for the top five they're actually the same they have apple microsoft amazon alphabet google and tesla and i have suspicion that the european and asia diversification for vanguard vgs is actually dragging down the performance for the etf and now with Ru russia and ukraine war going on yeah, i'm not so sure if it is a good idea investing in europe but in my opinion i'm still confident with the system of america with the meritocracy it has produced so much great companies with high return on equity google tesla amazon so what's your opinion which one is better leave the comment below thank you